What's going on, everybody? Chris Sky here, and I'm actually in Toronto in February in a tank top, and I'm warm. It's 15 degrees right now. Absolutely amazing. Uh, but that's the only bright spot I got today. Because I saw something yesterday that drove me a little bit mad. Two things, actually. First, I saw in Kazakhstan, they want to create a law to physically castrate pedophiles to ensure that they never hurt another child again. Now, me, personally, I'm 100% behind that idea, and I would endorse that. And then you come to a place like Canada, where our government's trying to argue for the uh, children to be able to do puberty blockers and sex changes and trying to say that we're harming people by trying to make them wait till they're old enough to understand. And if that wasn't bad enough, there's the story about the transgender who was working at the daycare center who literally admitted to raping a baby and will face no jail time simply because they're transgender. And like South Park joke, if you're transgender, you can do whatever you want apparently and get away with it. All right, I need to tell you something, Wendy. I'm transgender. What? Did you notice the bow? I'm not comfortable with the sex I was assigned at birth, so I'm exercising my right to identify with the gender of my choice. Now get out of my way, I have to take a shit. <sighs> well, in Canada, that's true. And you gotta ask yourself, why is it true that in a so-called third world country like Kazakhstan, that they're gonna protect children way more than a so-called progressive, inclusive, first world, wonderful nation like Canada. The answer is because Justin Trudeau is a pedophile. Yes, I can say that because he had to pay hush money for having sex with a child. And virtually everyone in government are pedophiles. So this entire LGBT agenda is designed to empower pedophiles. If that wasn't true, we wouldn't have transgender pedophiles raping babies and serving no jail time, while teachers who don't want to indulge students by uh, pretending that they're a boy if they're a girl or a cat if they're a human actually get fired or suspended from their jobs. So is this the kind of Canada you want to live in? Because I don't. This isn't the Canada I grew up in, and this isn't the Canada I want my children growing up in. So it's about time we take notice and we do something about it. It's time we just say no. This is just normal. Saying normal is extremely offensive to people who aren't in that group. 